Let's have a look at layout options. If we go to edit, edit preferences, and go to layout number one, we can adjust things such as our background. If we check this and select an image, like this skins.jpg, and hit restart, you will notice that we now have a background on our player. You can choose any image you like. If you don't like that, you can uncheck and restart. Let's go back to Edit Preferences. You can change the default font. For example, if you don't like Seago, you can pick something like this one or Vodana. And you notice you'll need to restart when you make some of these changes. Row padding, compressed, medium, or expanded. Let's hit restart on that so we can see our new font. And we see we have a different font style. And we can see the compressed layout for our listing of songs. We'll go back to medium. We can choose narrow scroll bars. And for our artist pictures, we can choose to crop to a circle. We can also choose to disable resizing of panels. Under header bar, we can choose how we want to have our menu. For example, as a button like shown here. Or as shown as a caption, like how I just had it. Or below the caption bar. We looked at that in previous videos. The tab bar. We can choose to show in caption. Hit apply. And we'll see our tabs are now located here. We'll move it back down. Notice that you can't have the menu and the tab bar together. We can choose to have the text for the tab bar centered uppercase or boxed mixed case. Like this. So the tabs are a little bit easier to see. We can choose a custom font for our tab bar. And we can even create customized buttons for our layout by selecting the image from the command and selecting the command. Down here, we can, we can choose what to display in our browser here on the left sidebar. For example, right now we have music, playlists, audio books, now playing, but what if we wanted to show the video tab? And now we see videos, bookmarks, inbox, and so forth. I'll check bookmarks, and now we see bookmarks. Up here, we can also bring up the arrange panels. We're going to be looking at this in the next video. Under layout two, we can adjust the layout for the mini player and the taskbar player. We can use a narrow layout or a wide layout. Notice we don't get any options under the narrow layout. So again, if you want to see what the mini player looks like, we'll go to view mini player and this is the mini player. We're using the wide version of it. If we go back to preferences and layout two and choose narrow layout and go back to the mini player, we see it's basically this little strip. Super compact. And here we can click to show our playlist, search, and so forth. 
click this to bring back up the player and I'll go back and I'll go back to the wide player and under the wide layout you can choose whether to show small pictures large pictures whether to show the spectrum visualizer you can just choose which fields to display such as artist title maybe file extension I'll choose album you can choose to show track rating love button we really like it down here we can customize the taskbar player and that is when we minimize this the controls that we see under minimize I also like to point out that if you go to music B in the area here you can see another instance of our player with thumbnail track information and controls clicking it brings the player back up so now let's modify the controls that we have when we minimize music B and have it here so we'll go back to edit preferences layout 2 we can choose to show the stop button volume mutes volume up and down last FM love rating up and down toggle shuffle and notice we have a maximum number of buttons because we can't fit everything in here so I'll uncheck stop and add shuffle we also have the ability to only show artwork only and no track details when we hit save let's just minimize this and we see we have more controls here I don't need to use I don't need all those controls I don't use them that often so I'll just uncheck all of this I don't want my taskbar cluttered with that we'll just have basic player controls we'll hit apply and hit save and that's a look at layout options